what is up people skywalker hendrix here with another video for you guys today i am looking at star wars the black series 50th lucasfilm anniversary corner jacks uh aka K kirk Hanos, which we all know that hasbro made a goof on the packaging and they called this figure Karnar Jax, which is incorrect. It is actually Kirkanos. And they... It, it's just a, kind of a sloppily thrown together figure, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, it's a cool looking figure. I'm in, glad I have it. And this whole comic book um, subline, or whatever you want to call it, is really cool and i'm all for it uh i i'm glad that they are continuing it in the future so next year we will get more comic book or whatever legends figures like these ones that we got we got this one maul um luke skywalker and jackson so glad we are getting more in the future uh because these these boxes are just amazing in my opinion they really went all out. So, uh, really cool um, packaging. I really enjoy it. We got, you know, where it's from. The timeline, Star Wars Legends, is highlighted, of course. We got the incorrect name on the side of the box. And a quick image of him. And then Star Wars Black Series, of course. So, uh, let's... Uh, open the inside of this packaging and uh take a look at the inside of the package so if you flip the box open of course we got the bio right there if you want to pause it you can read it i don't know if that's like i think it's the wrong bio and everything too so it it's just a big old goof by hasbro uh hopefully we could get a carnor jacks figure in the Kirkanos packaging just like this and then we got our figure right there the figure looks amazing in my opinion really liking this figure just how it looks in the package um and it is my first royal guard um as you know i just haven't had a royal guard yet so glad to get one He's probably most likely just going to go up next to my uh, Emperor. But, you know, he's a cool figure to have nonetheless. Uh, just really glad I was able to get him. So, no further ado, the packaging looks great. But I am going to review the figure. So let's get him open. Alright, and for his accessory, he does come with his, like, big double-bladed like sword thing looks cool uh pretty plain but it does look nice the the kind of like shiny uh metal color does look very nice so happy about that he does come with a, another accessory which i will just go right into the figure he comes with that little gun, which I'm just going to leave in there. But this figure is amazing. As I said, it is my first uh, kind of, uh, it's my first uh, guard, uh, What I can't think of the word. Um, I just said it earlier, but uh, Palpatine's, you know, guards, the, I, I can't, the word's uh, going right past me. But anyway... We all know what these guys are. They guard Palpatine in um, Return of the Jedi. So, but this is a different one. This, I believe, I'm not familiar with the comic, so bear with me. I believe he is a, this is after the Empire has fallen. So after Return of the Jedi and he kind of uh, goes on his own and I don't, I, I don't know what he does or anything in the comic, so to me this is just a royal guard, so um, looking very cool though, I know that he does have the black undersuit, he does still have the red arms, but on like a typical royal guard it would be just red underneath and then this 
fabulous cape would just be uh, red all over and it would kind of go over him like that. But um, he's different, so he's kind of got a... I'd call this almost like a Lando cape because this thing is like fabulous like it, that's the only word i can think because like the inside is just this purple that contrasts the whole figure and i think it looks really cool it's a little much for me personally like it it doesn't like lay for me it doesn't lay like the best it looks better when it's just kind of tucked back here and then none of the purple is showing and it looks better to me like that but I know, like, the whole thing is, like, the purple is supposed to be showing. And he looks, you know, pretty cool like that. But, like, to me, I just like this, like, sleeked look of him just like this. So, uh, but, yeah, let's let's go over the articulation on this guy. So, the helmet is going to be pretty simple. Uh, basically, no movement at all. Uh, so, yeah, not really. Any, there's not really anything there. So... Uh, that leaves a lot to be desired, but I think the rest of the articulation is really good on this figure. So his uh, arms do go up about 90, you know, as good as it's going to get with this armor. You can rotate all around, of course. Um, he does have single elbows, and they do swivel, of course. This hand is up and down because usually they're holding their like pike things in just staying there holding their pike whatever you want to call it little big spear thing his abs he does have a really good ab movement i'm digging that i really like that all around just i love those uh ball joints just right there so that's very nice he does let's see here he does kick out about that far not crazy kicks back about that far i like the design i just like the design on this guy he looks really cool there's thigh swivel right there of course he does have double knees which do go up about that far and his feet go back really really nice and they do go forward pretty decent and he has rocker in there so that is very nice to see this guy just looks really cool like he's just pleasing to the eye in my opinion and that's why i had to get him uh, i seen him at a GameStop, and i was like you know what i don't have a royal guard so if anything i just slap him right next to palps on the shelf and uh he'll look good there so either way or i'll just put him with uh luke because my my comic luke from the same wave is kind of by himself on the shelf because i just i i have all my figures with their movies and stuff so he doesn't really have a movie he's a one figure from one comic book so i might put this guy next to him and like display them with their boxes but um then i'd want to put maul in there but maul's in my prequel shelf so yeah i don't know we'll see where he will fit in but let's compare him to pelps so this is how he would look next to pelps looks uh decent i don't know though it, it it's not the same as like the fully cloaked um royal guard so i might put him next to uh next to luke We'll we'll have to see, but uh, this is how he compares to Palpatine. Here she is next to the newer Stormtrooper mold. This looks really good in my opinion. I like the the how they look together. And here he is next to Luke Skywalker from the same exact wave. I like how they look together too. Um, but let's get uh Kirkanos into a pose and uh that is my review of this figure all right and here is my pose for Kirkanos looking super dope of course i am kind of a vanilla poser but i think this pose looks very cool for him i just like the silhouette this cuts 
uh just looks really really cool in my opinion so that is my review for today again uh, if you guys haven't seen i am giving away this obi-wan kenobi right here so the last video that came out go to that it's my giveaway video uh comment on that video and you will be entered to win this figure so go do that if you haven't already loving the feedback from that video ton of comments already so thankful for you guys uh the winner will be announced on july 12th so go do that and also uh like and comment on this video if you uh enjoyed it at all <laughs> um and i'll see you all in the next one